G'day guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Nick and this is my channel Low Range Nick where I do videos about four driving, accessory fitting and maintenance for your four drive vehicle. So today I'm out at Bruya State Forest. So I've just gone for a little bit of an explore today just to sort of try and find some tracks and I think I might have stumbled across a pretty cool little track. So I'll, I'll give you a quick look at it. It looks pretty rocky. Some nice little rock step ups. So this is the uh, first part of this sort of the first part of the track. See some nice rock step ups there. Then it sort of follows up a bit further. A bit rocky up further as well. So I'm pretty much going to drop the tyres down now. So I'm going to drop down to, I think I'll probably go down to about 16 or 18 uh, all round, just to give the, you know, the, the tyres heaps of traction on these rocks. So I'll drop the tyres down now and let's get into it. That's pretty cool, eh? Some nice little rock steps there just to crawl up. Oh man, the auto is so bloody good when it comes to, you know, slow control when you need to go over like rocks and stuff really nice and slow. It's bloody awesome. Love it. So, come to a little bit of an interesting spot. So, we've got some pretty big rock steps here. So, I'm going to try a bit of a different line because I'm trying to test out the MUX today, you know, do some things that I wouldn't have tried when it was standard. So now I've got all the gear on it, I'm going to try a few little different lines and stuff just to really test it out and see what it's capable of. And also just to get used to how it drives and stuff. So I'm going to try and come up the middle here, uh, straddle the, you know, straddle the big hole in the centre there. So it's a pretty big rock ledge, so we'll see how it goes. So I just came to the end of the track now, so that was a pretty cool track. I've just spotted this little lizard sitting down here. Have a look at him. He's just chilling, soaking up the sun. So I've just been travelling down some of the other fire tracks in the forestry, just exploring a bit, and uh, they're all pretty easy. Um, they're all sort of this red dirt with uh, volcanic rocks. So it's a bit bumpy but it's pretty nice scenery out here. And I've just come across a uh, cow carcass in the bush. I thought I'd just have a quick look at it. So you can actually see somebody's tied the back legs of this cow to the tree. And uh, I'm not sure if they've killed it or died. 
from starvation or what, but it's a little bit sus. Okay guys, so I finished up in Bruya State Forest and then I uh, ended up heading over to Rattans National Park, Ratton State Forest. So that's where I am at the moment. And these mountains behind me, so that, that's Mount Widgee. So Lisa and I went up there uh, a couple of months ago. We did a full drive track which basically follows the ridge line uh, through Ratton State Forest. So it follows the ridge line all the way along until you pop out at the top of Mount Widgee and then there's a little hike to the top and the views up there are incredible. So I'll chuck in some footage now of our trip the other month uh, when we went up there and uh, show you some of the photos of the lookout at the top of uh, Mount Widgee and also there's a hang gliding uh, spot halfway along the track so the lookout from there is also pretty awesome. <laughs> you This is the main road into Rattans State Forest or Rattans National Park. Uh, so I'm going to explore some of the other tracks uh, through this national park and see what I can find. Stay tuned. been doing a few file trails just through Ratton State Forest so the file trails are pretty easy they're really rocky so I've left my tires down from when we were back at the other Bruya State Forest uh, and it's making it nice and comfy and the car's handling awesome so it's handling all the bumps really nice soaking them up so I'm pretty happy with it so it's time for lunch down at this spot seems like a pretty nice spot to stop for a couple of minutes and then uh, on with the adventure look at those tires back in here that's down to 18 psi. You can see how much more traction that's going to give us off-road. 
you can see even the side biters are grabbing you know the gravel or the rocks underneath so it's pretty impressive so that's why it's so important to lower your tire pressures alrighty guys so I've been traveling on the forestry tracks a little bit through Ratton State Forest and I've come down Ratton's Kandanga Road and now I'm on to Kandanga Road or about to go back onto the main track so I'm pretty much just gonna head straight back out to the highway and head home um, so it's been a pretty cool day out for driving exploring um, the two forestries so Bruya had some pretty uh, technical tracks uh, mixed with some really easy ones uh, and then Ratton's had some really nice sort of scenic forestry trails and a couple of lookouts and stuff have a look at this bloody stick as I was coming down the fire trail just down the road there a big ass bloody stick flicked up have a look at that big stick came up boom straight into the passenger rear door so I'm gonna have to get some cut and polish on the way home and hopefully most of that will come out Fingers crossed. <laughs> See how we go. I'm just glad there's no big dent in the door. At least it's just a scratch. So I'll have to get some cut and polish and try and get that out. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more full driving and accessory fitting videos. Cheers, guys.